Hello guys, in this video I will be discussing about selection of a return air grills and take a look how to properly specify them in different methods for total design tonnage of airflow. Return grills are used and connected to return air deck which allow air to return to cooling and heating system. A return grill should be sized at the face velocity of uh, 300 to 600 FVM maximum. Return grills uh, should not be near a supply register's uh, throw range. If uh, at all possible, we should uh, place the return grills at an opposite corner of the room. And hair volume going back to air and the low fan uh, must be equal what is supplied from the hair handler or the total CFM capacity of uh, return grills uh, must be uh, equal or exceeded the total CFM capacity of uh, supply diffusers. Uh, face velocity should be kept lower because uh, an increase in face velocity will create more noise and returns should be at 300 to 500 FVM maximum. Uh, returns should be put in stagnant air location that need to be recommended high for cooling and low for eating mode so both modes uh, choose primary season. Room air movement uh, returns uh, do not have much uh, effect on room's uh, air movement uh, regardless of face velocity. Most of the room air movement is uh, done by the supplies. In order to size a uh, return grill, we need to determine the total amount of uh, tonnage we have and then determine the amount of CFM air volume needed for each return grill and late. So when sizing a return grill, there are a couple of methods air principles allow us. So the first method is to use uh, existing sizes by using performance data to determine the required sizes for return air grills. So each type of uh, return grill is uh, provided with a different performance data when sizing a grill, uh, it's important to properly select by sizing core area of uh, return grill and face velocity based on the range, velocity pressure, negative static pressure, and created total amount of airflow. If you look at this uh, performance data for a smaller size, the first row is indicating uh, face velocities or core velocity in FEM, the selection of velocity uh, must be considered the associated velocity pressure, negative static pressure with each relative. The second row is uh, indicating the velocity pressure and the third row is uh, indicating total uh, negative static pressure which is uh, measured in inch of water column and let's say we have a core velocity of 0.48 square feet if we look at the performance of return grills which are based on nominal sizes shown in the table for a core area of uh, 0.48 square feet at the face velocity of uh, 500 FEM is uh, capable of delivering an airflow of uh, 240 CFM with a velocity pressure of uh, 0.016 and a negative uh, static pressure of 0.051 for a nominal deck size of uh, 14 by 16 inches. The second example when the core area is not listed uh, there are a couple of ways uh, to do is uh, use the nearest uh, nominal sizes in the table since uh, two sizes have an approximate equal core area so let's say we're looking for the required amount of CFM for a return air grill which is 18 by 10 inches uh, 18 times uh, 10 inches uh, gave us core area of uh, 180 square inches we convert it to feet 18 inches uh, divided by 12 inches that gives us uh, 
1.5 feet again uh, 10 inches uh, divide by 12 inches that gives us uh, 0.83 and then we multiply 1.5 feet by 0.83 that gives us a core area of uh, 1.25 square feet so if you look at the performance of uh, return grills which are based on nominal sizes shown in the table the core area of uh, 125 square feet is not available in the table so we select core area of uh, 1.22 which is uh, approximate to 125 at base velocity of 500 fem which uh, gives us a velocity pressure of 0.016 with a negative static pressure of 0.051 and an airflow of uh, 610 CFM for a nominal deck area of 14 by 14 inches. The third example, if you look for a larger curry area, we use a different performance data. Uh, let's say we have a core area of uh, 6. 0.68 square feet at face velocity of 500 fpm is uh, capable of uh, delivering an airflow of uh, uh, 3340 cfm with a velocity pressure of uh, 0.016 and a negative uh, static pressure of uh, 0.051 for a nominal area of uh, 7.03 square feet and the second method we use uh, 1 cfm per uh, 0.5 square inches uh, that will give us the same answer as the first method but the negative uh, static pressure loss uh, velocity pressure uh, face velocity and noise uh, criteria will not be the same uh, relative to the listed sizes uh, let's say we have a total design uh, airflow of 1000 CFM and we have been asked to determine the required sizes of uh, return grills uh, we need for the design airflow of uh, 1000 CFM uh, let's say we have uh, three existing uh, return grills uh, 10 inches uh, by 14 inches uh, 10 inches by 18 inches and again uh, 10 inches by 18 inches so we need to find the amount of CFM we need for each uh, return grill so 10 inches uh, times uh, 14 inches uh, that gives us a core area of uh, 140 square inches uh, divided by 0.5 square inches that give us 280 CFM so a uh, return grill of uh, 10 by 14 inches good for an airflow of uh, 280 CFM the next 10 inches times uh, 18 inches that gave us a core area of uh, 180 square inches divided by 0.5 square inches that gave us uh, 360 CFM return grill of uh, 10 by 18 inches um, for an airflow of uh, 360 CFM and again uh, 10 inches times uh, 18 inches that give us core area of uh, 180 square inches uh, divided by 0.5 square inches that gives us uh, 360 CFM so uh, 280 CFM plus uh, 360 plus uh, 360 CFM uh, equals uh, 1000 CFM so for 1000 CFM we need two return grills of uh, 10 inches by 18 inches and 10 inches by 14 inches so if we compare one of the grill that we have just determined with the second method to first method uh, that's gonna give us the lower face velocity uh, lower velocity pressure lower negative static pressure and lower noise uh, criteria for a return core area of uh, 10 inches by 18 inches so that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video